This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network. And joining me right now is Taj Singh. He's the president and CEO of Discovery Silver. It's a publicly traded company. I got two symbols for you, DSV on the TSX Venture and DSVSF on the OTCQX. And Discovery Silver will be participating at the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek, a hybrid event this year happening September 8th through the 11th. And with that, Taj, thank you for joining me again. How are you doing? Very good. Thanks for having us here, Robert. Good to see you. Good to see you too, and thank you for joining. So we actually did an interview together last year that we published on September 8th, 2020. So we'd love to get an update. You know, can you provide us with a brief overview of Discovery Silver and then maybe some highlights from the last 12 months? Perfect, yeah, thanks. Um, I'm Taj Singh, President of Discovery uh, Silver. Uh, Discovery operates solely in Mexico and we're focused on advancing our Cordero Silver project, our flagship which is the largest undeveloped silver project in the world. Uh, we're, we're advancing it through a very aggressive drill program. So over the past 18 months, we've done about 100,000 uh, meters of drilling, which is one of the largest drill programs in the silver industry worldwide. And then this will be then culminated in a brand new resource and economic study to be released in the coming months actually this year. Uh, we're located in Chihuahua. Uh, which is, uh, you know, a very well-known state for, for mining and specifically silver mining, but on one of the most robust mineral belts in the world. We're located uh, near lots of existing, existing infrastructure as well, and that will obviously significantly help when it comes time to building and operating the mine. The current area that we have represents less than 5% of our total land package around Port Arrow. Uh, so we'll continue to develop many new targets to be dual tested and hopefully hopefully find several other deposits in the district. Cordero, uh, as I noted, is one, is the world's largest undeveloped silver project. It's got close to 600 million ounces of silver alone and a billion ounces of silver equivalent. And then obviously because of this, uh, you know, we really, we really do offer exceptional leverage to the price of silver. Uh, and just to, just to close here in terms of an overview, we have a cash balance of around $85 million. So very strong cash balance, no debt. Um, that's in Canadian. And then based on our high level plan and including money coming in from warrants and options, we estimate we'd be at a construction decision uh, within about 18 to 24 months and have a, a cash balance of around 70 to $80 million Canadian, no debt, obviously. And we think this could represent about 25, 30% of the capital needed for the build of the initial mine of Cordero. So in a really good position uh, uh, cash wise uh, as well. Very good. And Taj, what, from what you can tell us, what would you then say are some of the company's value catalysts for the rest of 2021 going into 2022? Yeah, we're going to keep drilling. We've been putting out drill results every three, four weeks. We're going to continue to do that. We've got four rigs on, so that, that'll keep coming out. Uh, but there's some very big, important uh, catalysts coming out in the rest of the year. We've got metallurgical results for the PEA coming out uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, and then a brand new resource estimate. Uh, estimating late September, early October. And then the big, big catalyst for the year is the brand new PEA, the economic study, which will then obviously outline Cordero's economics based on the significant amount of work and de-risking we've done over the past uh, past couple of years. And then obviously, uh, I didn't note it before, but uh, we're working on our inaugural ESG report, which is it's really been important to us. We've been focusing on it, a lot of our initiatives on the sustainability area, so that we'll be putting that out as well. Couple of quick points on our, our, our PEA, which is the big catalyst. We want to establish Cordero as one of the largest producing and longest mine life primary silver mines in the world um, with costs in the bottom half of the industry cost curve. So the support, the study is going to be supported by a comprehensive drilling uh, and uh, metallurgical data set, engineering data set, and then undertaken by an industry leading team led by Asenko, a very well known uh, firm. And then uh, the study. While the study work progresses, we'll continue, as I noted before, to remain focused on adding value through drilling, uh, which will then culminate in a PFS for next year. So that's into 2022. The big catalyst there is going to be a brand new pre-feasibility study. So Taj, with that, where can our audience go and find more information on Discovery Silver? Yeah, our, our website is www.discoverysilver.com. Pretty simple and easy. We're very active on Twitter and LinkedIn. You can get the links for uh, for all of our social media pages on our, our website. Again, www.discoverysilver.com. Very good. Well, Taj, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. I look forward to our next update.
Fantastic. Thank you so much, Robert, for having us. And again, yes, yeah, stay safe as well and look forward to, to seeing you in person sometime soon. Very good, man. Again, my name is Robert Kraft and I'm your host on SNN Network and we're a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Press Mill Summit Beaver Creek, a hybrid event this year happening September 8th through the 11th. Discovery Silver will, will be there as a participant. Thank you all for watching.